Hello, I'm Mrs. Lam and I'm going to show you how to draw a scientist portrait. A portrait is a picture of someone's head and shoulders. So on your piece of paper, just try to map out where it is before you begin. The head I think will be kind of around here in the middle and the shoulders will be at the bottom here. We don't need room for a body. It's just a portrait. When you're ready, you're going to draw a U-shape for the head. Let's draw a U-shape. There we go. Easy start. Next, I'm going to draw the goggles. Scientists wear goggles to protect their eyes. So the kind of goggles that I'm going to draw will look like a W shape. We're going to draw a W and then a line at the top for the top of the goggles. So go ahead and draw a W and then a line across the top. These are big goggles. And then draw the rim, almost like you're writing a block letter B. There we go. You can just do some erasing if you need to on the sides. Okay, afterwards, I'm going to draw the eyes. Now, for your scientists, you can draw lots of different types of eyes. You can draw some cartoony eyes with a upside down U shape and a straight line. These are kind of cute eyes. You could draw football eyes, football shape. If you want your scientists to look a little bit more realistic, you could draw maybe like one eye winking, one eye not. Maybe you want a little mischievous scientist, you decide. I'm going to draw big, wide, surprised eyes. Maybe something happened in the lab and the scientist is shocked. So to do that, I'm going to do a big C shape, a big C shape, and then a circle for the eyeball. And then I'll do the other side as well, but this time, instead of a C, I'll draw a backwards C. And then same thing, a circle in the middle. And then I can color that in and you can color it in when you're ready. But for the whiteboard, I'll do it now just so that it's kind of easier to see. There we go. All right. Okay. Next, I'll do the nose. The nose here, again, we're going to use a U shape to keep it nice and simple. You can do a pointy nose if you want. You can do a nose like this if you want. I'm going to just do... Uh, flat U shape. And if you want to make it a bit more realistic, kind of like our nostrils here, I'm going to add a little tab and then two little C's. So it kind of matches our nostrils. Now for the mouth, again, you have so many choices. You can do a smile. You can do a big grin. You could do maybe a frowny face. Maybe something is going on in the lab that's kind of weird. You could do maybe like a, I don't know, evil laughter or, you know, a tongue sticking out, whatever you like. So decide what kind of scientist you want to show. I'm going to have a, to match the surprised eyes, I'm going to do surprised mouth. And when someone is surprised, they might go, oh. so I'm going to draw a circle for the mouth. And if you want to add a tongue, you can just go ahead and do almost like a flat M shape like that for the tongue. All right, easy peasy, letter C and a backward C for the ears. You can do earrings if you want your scientist to have earrings, up to you. Okay, before we do the hair, I want to do the shoulders first. Neck is just two straight lines down. And then scientists usually wear a collared lab coat, usually white lab coats um, with a nice collar. So lots of different choices for the collar. I'll show you on the side. You could do a collar with two triangles like that or two, I guess, edges sticking out. But I'm going to do maybe a simple one here, almost like a bow coming out of the, of the neck area. Two triangles. And then the shoulders and a line down the middle because usually the lab coat's open in the middle. They've got buttons going down. So I'll draw some buttons. Now, if you want to add some fun details, you could add a pocket on the side, maybe add some pens or pencils, you know, maybe a notebook. Scientists usually have these close by so they can make observations as they're doing their experiments. And you can even have for fun a name tag. Give your scientist a name, maybe name them after yourself or give them a silly name. Uh, I might give mine a silly name, but think, let me think, let me think. Doctor, what's a funny word? Doctor, Doctor Baloney. That's a silly name. It's kind of a silly word too, Bologna, but it's pronounced Bologna. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's finish our scientists with some eyebrows and the hair. I can't believe I forgot the eyebrows. 
And the eyebrows are really easy. I'm going to keep them simple. Just some moon shapes. They're high up because they're surprised. And then hair. I'm going to have the hair sticking out, but you could do long flowing hair. You can do a ponytail. You can do pigtails. You can do short hair, boy hair. Um, no, not boy hair because boy hair, sorry, hair can be for anyone. Any kind of hairstyle you want. I'm going to do some poofy hair. Maybe the scientist was surprised by something. So I'm going to do some poofy hair sticking out. Scraggly. And there you go. Go ahead and color that and have fun creating your wacky scientist portrait. Bye.